and this is why I want to call it Shadow. <laughs> so we must have caught it early and the combination of probiotics and bicarb and anti bloat and ginger must have done its trick on her. She's hungry which is awesome because she wasn't interested in food yesterday which is highly unlike her. So after seeking some advice um, a few people have recommended sour milk. We don't have time to make sour milk because that takes two days to make. And so um, another thing was yogurt so um, or shop bought powdered milk not the formula because the formula has too much fat in it which is what's causing the bloat. Um, yeah so we're gonna go back to the house get her some food figure out what it is that we're gonna feed her now that we've had a good sleep and good news um, <clears throat> and we'll bring her back some food <laughs> that we go and pick up the food waste from our local supermarket. So I'm quickly making some paleo pancakes and I'm going to make a rhubarb compote to put on top. I'm also going to get lunch ready so we can eat it when we get back and I'm going to make a chickpea and carrot soup with some Chinese broccoli green in as well. Israel's going to check for some more. The lammies are nice and healthy and chasing after Paul. He's going to make him a bottle. We have just come back from picking up the green waste, which we'll sort later. And we're about to go have some lunch. Oh, look at the lammies. It's freezing and the winter rains have returned. It really feels like I'm in the middle of winter again and not spring at all, especially because we had such beautiful weather at the beginning of the week. But not to worry, it's going to warm up again on Wednesday. It's going to be beautiful again. But it is dinner time, so I'm gonna go collect dinner. So I'm gonna take you with me. We're making savory mince. Still haven't really decided what I'm putting in it. So I'm going to put on Paul's gumboots because um, I'm wearing my nice thick socks and they don't fit into my gum boots. I'm gonna collect a few things to pop in it. I'm thinking carrots, turnips, and red Russian kale. I'm gonna have a look and see what else. If we've got any broccoli, maybe some parsley, maybe some celery too, because I've got lots of that at the moment. Um, okay, let's go for a hunt.
Zo. I think we're gonna have to grab another teat because they both want to feed at the same time. Unfortunately, the stock feeders was closed today. I went to go make my sourdough muffins or prepare them for um, the next morning and my sourdough starter was mouldy. I think it's because I had it on top of my wood fired oven and it was too warm and maybe I didn't feed it enough during um, the times that I used it. Oh, I'm so, I'm so annoyed at myself. But that means that I can show you how to make a sourdough starter. It's really easy, it's just going to take me a week, which is frustrating because I wanted to make sourdough crumpets and um, some sourdough bread. But I'm going to show you how to make this starter and I hate throwing away stuff. So um, when you make a starter, um, part of the process is removing half of it and um, adding more flour to feed it and I re that didn't sit well with me. I didn't want to throw away that much flour, especially because my flour cost me $75 for a 25 kilo bag. I just couldn't fathom throwing it out. So I came up with a few ways to use the um, starter that you're supposed to discard at each um, time. And I'm gonna show you, yeah, some ideas on how to use it. So stay tuned. So I've got a nice big jar to start off my sourdough starter and I'm going to put in about a quarter cup of flour. This is heritage wheat. It is wholemeal, it is stone ground. It's all the beautiful things that you want in a wheat. And I've got that in there and I'm going to put in about half a cup of water. And I'm going to stir it and aerate it. It is nice and mixed in, except for the lumps on the spoon. I'm going to loosely cover it with my lid, really loosely, and I'm going to pop it in a warm spot above my wood fired oven because I want fast fermentation in this stage. And I'm going to check back on it tomorrow and I'm going to feed it up to 12 hours and I'm going to show you how to do that. This is what my mouldy sourdough starter looks like. You can see that white crust on the top. Um, and it's got a real funky smell about it too. So it's really annoying, but such is life, I guess.